The fallout from the Andrew Thorburn episode continues. This case raises the question of whether, when it comes to senior jobs, any prominent jobs really in this country, it's now a case that Christians need not apply. Some sensible voices have entered the debate, explaining that activists are trying to make these issues far too polarised and simplistic. Here's Olympic champion and Australian Sports Commission Chief Kieran Perkins. Running hard to um, these these definitive views based on small pieces of information, I don't think is particularly helpful. If we want diversity and inclusion in, in all parts of society, that actually does include all parts of society. And if we can't cohabitate, if we can't work together and understand each other, um, we're not winning any arguments. All we're doing is seeding more division, um, more arguments and, uh, you know, robbing ourselves of the opportunity to be a rich society, which uh, frustrates me a little bit. And prominent social activist, former World Vision chief and Essendon supporter, the Reverend Tim Costello, has also called for cooler heads. I think we've had a rush to judgment. I think it's been probably unfair to Andrew. Sadly and depressingly for me, it's triggered the culture wars again. You know, we've got warriors on both sides wanting to find the cult fight the culture wars. Still, this call for nuance or putting blame on both sides in this case is a little weak, isn't it? Because the fact that Thorburn has been wronged is absolutely clear. He's been barred from a job in a way that would create outrage and intervention if it happened to a person from another faith. And much of the media want to make this a simple matter of demonising and oversimplifying complex religious and moral beliefs in various Christian churches. You're not homophobic. No. You say homosexuality is a sin. But you say it's a sin. Different sexual orientations. Yes. Anyone in your community that has a different um, sexual orientation, you say you're going to go to hell. Shouldn't you be more inclusive? We are. We, we're very... No, you're not. You're just saying... Yeah, but comparing abortion to the Holocaust, you're saying well, I, I was, if, if, you, if you're gay, you're going to go to hell. That's, that's not really being well, inclusive and loving. This is verbaling Christians and ascribing a motive to all of them that may or may not be true and that may or may not apply also to people who are Muslim, Hindu or Jewish too, which is why other faith leaders, including the Catholic Archbishop of Melbourne, have weighed in criticising Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews' strident denunciation of Thorburn. So the Premier had more to say today. I'm not here to be having a debate with faith leaders, but I, 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 I will just say this. I'm a Catholic. I send my kids to Catholic schools. My faith is important to me. It guides me every day. But it also guides me in my sense of what is right and what is wrong. And if I can just say with utmost respect, calling out homophobia is not the problem. Homophobia is the problem. Yeah, no one should support or tolerate homophobia or vilification. But as a Catholic, Andrews must know that his own church teaches that homosexual acts are a sin, a belief held even by some homosexuals. So this is complex and denouncing individuals because of the teachings of their church must be wrong. Otherwise, on his own reasoning, Andrews would be out of a job. In fact, this rush to demonise, to signal your own virtue by decrying others as hateful or intolerant, is the very essence of the woke agenda. It's lowbrow, divisive and damaging. And ironically, it comes as the Greater Western Sydney Giants AFLW player Hanin Zrika has announced her intention to again boycott the Gay Pride Round. Zrika and her Muslim beliefs are being accommodated without penalty and without fuss, as they should be. Now, perhaps she should be allowed to wear just a normal Guernsey, but she's been told without the Gay Pride Guernsey, she doesn't play. So her beliefs, her choice... No suggestion she's heaping scorn on or deriding gay people. This is how mature societies work, respecting beliefs they don't agree with, so long as no harm is being inflicted on others. This is logical, tolerant inclusion that should be afforded Andrew Thorburn and other Christians too.